Hi YouTube, so today I'm doing the what on my iPhone tag. Um, I just thought it would be a fun one to do and I haven't done it before. Um, I, I do have the old iPhone which is the iPhone 4S but I'm getting an upgrade in either October or November. So um, I might do an updated one when I get my new one. So yeah, uh, I hope you like it and if you want to see what is on my iPhone, keep watching. Okay, so this is just my iPhone. It's the iPhone 4S. I'm due an upgrade in either October or November. But um, So I'm just using this until then. But I'll maybe do an update one when I get my new phone. Um, I have just this wee case on it. It's from eBay. It's not a bumper because the back is all plastic. And I just thought it was super cute. I had a um, the Fault in Our Stars theme case on it before this. Um, I then just have a wee diamante button at the bottom for my, uh, what do you call that, home button or, yeah, home button, we'll go with that. Um, so if you press that then it goes onto my screensaver. It is just the yin yang symbol with a uh, flower pattern on it and it is 24 minutes past 6. So if I just unlock my phone, I edited that bit out just so you wouldn't see my password. This is what it looks like. My screensaver, I don't know if you can see, is a picture of me, my Uncle Alan and my mum um, with a pink overlay on it. So first I have my Instagram, which I absolutely love. If you don't already follow me, um, please check out my Instagram. Um, so yeah, I just, I love my Instagram. Like it's one of my favourite apps to go on. Then I have the cat my calendar, which is where I would put all my if I had like a nail appointment or hair appointment, I put it all in there. Then I have my photos, which um, I'm actually on at the minute because I was doing uh, before this I'd done the TMI tag and I had to screenshot the questions. I have four thousand and eighty three photos. I am a little bit obsessed. Then there's my camera, which. You can now see my camera. So there's that. Then I have my clock with all my alarms on it. Um, my alarms are just boring and not really for anything. Oh, then my personal Facebook. I don't have one for my YouTube. Then I have my notes. Which just have a load of rubbish in them. My iTunes store, which I do not use. My music, which I have nothing. I don't even, I don't even think, no content. I don't think I've even clicked on that before. My app store, um, which I have two updates to do. Then my settings, then my Twitter. If Again, if you don't already, please follow my Twitter. My phone is so slow. But please follow my Twitter if you don't already. Um, then I have videos, which I have none. My mail, my YouTube, which is also a really uh, good app on my phone that is used a lot. However, I do mostly watch YouTube videos. Um, I do mostly watch YouTube videos on my iPad. So there's that. Then my FaceTime, which I use sometimes. Then along the bottom, I have my messages, which I have one from my mum at the minute. As she has just landed in Spain for her two-week holiday, and I'm missing her like crazy already. So she's just updating me on that. Then my phone, um, where I can have the phone keypad and all that. My Safari, which I don't use very much because everything that I want on Safari I have an app for. Then my WhatsApp, which I use every single day because that's what me and my boyfriend use to text each other. Okay, so my, in my utilities, I just have all the stuff that I never really use. Such as um, calculator, um, weather, maps, newsstand, all, this, all the stuff like that. Then next I have Insta Collage, which I actually use quite a lot for all my um, editing on, on pictures for my Instagram. Sorry I'm a wee bit all over the place today. I, don't, I can't seem to get my words out. But I mostly use um, that one and put two pictures in and blend them together and stuff like that for Instagram. Then I have my Snapchat, which I'm debating whether to give out to... Uh, like people on YouTube and stuff or you just keep it with my friends so if you would like that comment down below and I'll think about giving out my name on it 
Then I have a wee thing that's called Tags for Likes, which I don't use anymore. When I very first got Instagram, um, I used to do loads and loads of tags on it just to try to get like more people to see my photos. But I never ever use that anymore. Then I have a photography folder which um, is filled with my most used apps for my Instagram and pictures and stuff. So first I have Afterlight which is my very favourite um, editing app. So I'll just get a picture. There's my, my new bag, my Michael Kors bag that my mum got me. So there it is and then you can just do different things like change the brightness and put like overlays on it different things like that so I really really like that app then I have Pick Lab, which I don't use CPE which I don't use Split Pick which I don't use More Beauties 2 that I don't use Snap Story that I don't use Snappy that I don't use Pixart that I do use but um, it can be a little bit confusing sometimes but basically um, all you need to do is click to edit a photo um, let's go photos and we'll go up to the bag again and you can just do like different effects on it so again you can do all stuff like that to make it look pretty or whatever and there's all different things that you can do to it so yeah that's a really good one too and I use that quite a lot then snap collage which I don't use Repicks, which I use for um, like little dots and stuff over my pictures and I'll quickly show you now. Um, I will use the bag again just because it's an easy one to use. Um, and click on the flowers because I don't, I haven't bought this app so I don't have any of the other things. And basically, I'm just going to do this all messy but can you see that they have like the bubbles on it? So that's the only thing that I use for that app, but I like it a lot. Photo Studio, which I don't use, and Whitegram, which I used to use to get a long picture in the square frame with the white sides, but now I use Square Ready, which I absolutely love. Um, I'll show you how I do it. You can even do it with a square picture. Um, it doesn't have to be a rectangle one. So I'll use a picture of my new makeup palette for this. If you click the bottom, it will put it into that um, kind of frame, or if you click that, it'll make it like into a square one. Then you can upload it straight to Instagram from there. So I really recommend that. I then have my countdown app, which is just the thing to like count down to like a main offence in my life. So um, 22 days until tenants vital, 118 days till my R plates are off my car, and 337 days until my next birthday. I then have eBay which I use quite a lot, Temple Run which I don't use that much anymore but I used to be obsessed with it, um, Wallpapers which I don't use um, that much but if I get bored sometimes I would go on there and flick through, my Tumblr app which I don't really use, um, in fact I don't even really know how to use it to be honest but I would click on it sometimes. Flappy Bird, which I hate. I don't know why I still have it. I absolutely hate it. Dream Talk, um, which is an app that you can record yourself sleeping. And it only picks up on the noise that you make. So it, say you'll get maybe 13 recordings throughout the whole night if you make a noise. For instance, if you were to sleep talk or whatever. It's a really interesting app and I think you should all try it. Domino's for when we're ordering pizza, as I love it. The Messenger app for Facebook, which I think is so stupid, I just preferred Facebook the way it was before, but now you have to use the messaging app. Depop, which I like, um, I go on it quite a lot and just flick through people, what people sell in and stuff. Then the last page is PayPal and the Kardashian game, which everybody was going crazy over and I, I don't really get the hype, but I wanted to try it, so... That's everything on my phone. I don't really have that much on my phone. I like to keep it really quite simple. But yeah, that's my phone. Um, and again, I said if you want an update on it when I get my new phone, I will certainly do that. So yes, that is my um, iPhone 4S 
and that is everything that's on it and I hope I give you some good tips and tricks about what is um, what way you can edit Instagram photos and stuff and my favourite apps for that. So thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>